checking out this video, don't forget, like and subscribe. Hey, let's talk about Raw. All right. Hell of a main event. You were right. I told you. Better Although I was, I was disappointed because we had two commercial breaks. So yeah. seven minutes of the action we didn't get. But like Ilya Dragunov and Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. It's funny because like Sheamus and Drew are legit like best friends. And they love beating the crap out of each other. And every time they have a match together, they just relish in it. But Ely decided to show up, and he was like, no, nah, I'm beating up you two. And uh, <laughs> you could beat me up. He doesn't care. But, man, that guy, that Ilya Dragunov, stood out in this match because he's such a maniac. In there with Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. And they had just the most awesome match. And uh, in the end, Sheamus gets taken out. And actually, I'm sorry, uh, Drew is... Anyway, the point is, Drew rolls up Sheamus. Look at Ilya. And then Sheamus hits that big brogue knee. And Drew, like, stumbles into the ropes and then comes right back with a Claymore. Pins Sheamus. Didn't pin Ilya. It's like they they protected Ilya. And uh, he got the win. He's in Money in the Bank. And afterwards, Drew told us he is going to walk in Saturday and leave the World Heavyweight Champion. And I was like, oh, my God, they're just going to do it again. He's going to win Money in the Bank. He's going to cash in. He's going to win. and then, Or he's going to cash in, and CM Punk's going to screw him, and he's going to fail in his cash in. Because if, if you guys pay attention uh, to Money in the Bank, they almost never have two people running around with briefcases for any length of time. So it's always, you know, the men's and the women's winners – one of them is going to hold that briefcase for like a long time, and the other one is very quickly going to cash it in. And I would not be the least bit surprised if if this is my this is my fantasy booking. Okay. All right. So here's here's the way I look at it. CM Punk has been on his best behavior. Okay. I haven't heard anything negative about him. Brian Alvarez reported that. But I mean, yeah, I haven't heard anything negative. Not one thing. Okay. But you know. He's had big problems everywhere he's went, okay? So, to me, let's uh, let's make sure everything's all right. So what that means is, you know, he screws Drew McIntyre again, and this leads to SummerSlam. And at SummerSlam, I put Drew McIntyre over CM Punk just to see, hey, everything going all right? Let's work out. Any problems? Nothing? Okay, great. Temperature check. Look at that. Yeah. I, hey, you know what? That's what I would do. And then, you know, you've got from here until Royal Rumble season. And, you know, everything's still cool. All right. Well, that point, you build up to Drew McIntyre as champion. He can win it whenever. And, uh, and CM Punk beats Drew McIntyre for the title at WrestleMania. So that's the way I would book it. And we'll see what happens. May not necessarily go that way. Do you think that he will be taking the title off of Damian Priest? Or do you think some drama gets thrown in there and Seth Rollins is the reason that Damian Priest has a foot out of the judgment day? I think that um I think that Priest retains the title. Same. I think uh although you know what? I think that Gunther should win the title at SummerSlam. So I really don't care if Seth or Priest ends up walking out with the title. Or Bash in Berlin. Whatever. Yeah. Well, no, they, he's got a title well, match see, yeah, at SummerSlam. That's right. So, yeah. like, whatever whatever you want to do, I don't care. But I think that, that uh, he needs to be the champion. And, uh, you know, Drew McIntyre can, uh, can beat him in a banger down the road. So... Or, you know, I mean, there's there's a lot, there's a million ways to do it. But I think the title needs to end up on Drew, and he needs to lose it to Punk at WrestleMania. Finish just, finish that story. Just to go back to Ilya for a minute, it's going to be interesting to see who his first big singles feud is with that he goes over with. Because, I, you know, that's the one thing. I don't know how they're going to portray him, because right now he could be either a baby face or a heel. You know, he was in there as part of the deal to get Braun Breaker more established, and he... 
did his role there perfectly being involved in that and now with this you know he was protected but it'll just be interesting to see who's the first guy that they put him with as that first big feud because you know kaiser i like the idea of him going in that direction with Sami Zayn and with those guys but unfortunately he's out so i don't know you know do you do gunther in him before gunther goes on to win the title and could you do that match at bash in berlin it's gonna be interesting to see what they do with him we had another uh wyatt six segment they still really haven't done anything yet they're they're going after chad there was an opening segment with chad and jay talking about when you win money in the bank and then the lights went out and i gotta say man they play that piano music this place goes nuts i mean they get so excited for this piano music and then Chad kind of escapes through the crowd, and there's creeps everywhere, and he avoids them all, and he flees. And then Nikki Cross delivers another VHS tape to Michael Cole, and thankfully they have a VHS tape player. And we got another video, which was... Aren't they still standard on these types of operations trucks? I mean, it's possible. I mean, you always have to have one, I think, if you're doing TV. But So Bo is in, uh, is in therapy with himself as Uncle Howdy. Which is funny because Uncle Howdy's a therapist. It should be the other way around. But anyway, Uncle Howdy is quite pleased with all of these answers he's getting from Bo. The white six have become a family. Everyone must pay for their sins. Bo is the voice of reckoning. And then all of a sudden they're like both saying the same things. And then they switch places. And then and then slowly Bo is all alone by himself. I set them free, he said. So if you're an idiot, Bo Dallas is Uncle Howdy. That's what they were telling you. We had a... I like this segment. So Chad is in the cafeteria with Otis. And he's he's all worried about the video he just saw. He says, it's all about me. Which I don't know where, I don't know where he got that. But Otis says... He says, you know, Otis, I, I, I said bad things, hurtful things. I know you hate me, but I need help. And Otis says, I don't hate you. But we're not helping you. This is your problem. You deal with it. And Chad says, well, they're after me now. Who knows who could be next? Could be Tozawa, Maxine. Could be you, he says. And if that happens, I'll have your back. And Maxine and Tozawa walk up. Chad bails. And they cut to Michael Cole, and he just goes, Otis, do not fall for this. <laughs> I like this new, it's not really new, but like in the old days, it'd be like, you know, something stupid or whatever, or stupid baby face. I mean, the story is everybody knows Chad is a horrible person trying to manipulate this man. And uh, we, we as viewers don't want Otis to fall for it. We had Ray and Dominic. Actually, there was a show long storyline with Liv and Ray and Dominic. And essentially, like, <laughs> this is another good one. Carlito was playing as Damien Priest in the game. There's only one problem with this Rhea Dom storyline, okay? And it's one of those things you have to accept in wrestling. Like, if I throw you the ropes, you're going to bounce back. <laughs> in wrestling, Rhea has, like, she's gone to another planet. She's just gone. She's in a, she's in a relationship with Dom, but she got hurt, and so he hasn't seen her in months. Because she lives at a rehab facility or something. So he can't travel, obviously. So, so... Priest goes up to Dom and he says, you talked to Rhea lately? What's going on? Dom goes, all good. Priest goes, really? Because I just got off the phone with her and it's not good. She's really angry. <laughs> and Dom's like, oh, man. And and Priest says, you got you to gotta handle this. Like, you got to get this done tonight. And Dom goes, I'll get it done. He goes, you always say that, but you actually have to get it done tonight. And so they walk into the clubhouse and there's, there's Liv and she's all happy and walks out, calls him Daddy Dom. And so she goes out for a match with Liv and Dom ends up coming down to ringside. And he comes down to ringside. Ray comes down to ringside. Zelina comes down to ringside. And in all of this, Dom slides a chair into the ring, allegedly for Zelina. But she grabs a chair and she throws it and hits him in the head. And Liv gets furious and she hits a distracted uh, Zelina and pins her with the oblivion. I like him sliding the chair to Zelina right in front of the referee who's just staring at him. Yes. So, you know, Dom has helped her win. Did he mean to? We don't know, but he did. 
So then, you know, later we've got Dom and Ray. And I thought for sure I knew what they were going to do. And that was, well, Liv accidentally helps Ray win or whatever. But instead, you know, they're they're all out there again. Zelina attacks Liv. Dumb drop kicks Ray into the ropes. He hits a 619, goes up top. Zelina yanks Liv off the apron, and she hits the apron, and it accidentally crotches Dom. And Ray hits a 619, and he pins Dom. And so, in fact, they did the opposite. Liv accidentally cost him the match. He's all upset. She's running after him, you know, begging that she's going to fix it. She's going to fix it. She's going to fix it. And I really liked it because, A... You know, it it uh, it puts some doubt into this whole storyline. And B, I have no idea if they're if they're going to do this or not. I have no idea. But so far, the storyline has been that Liv is trying to manipulate and move in on Dom. Maybe he likes it, maybe he doesn't. But, like, this is all her plan. She's even said it's her plan. But when she was begging for forgiveness and saying, I'm going to fix it, I'm going to fix it, I'm going to fix it, I was like, man... Maybe he's manipulating her. And you know what I'm saying? So I'm Have not sure. Have you ever thought, Brian, that maybe, maybe she actually has eyes on somebody else? Maybe somebody Well, else they've had that in there as out. well. Finn. No, no, no. That's the whole thing. I remember when JD was talking to her and Braun went running back or limping back after him and he ran away. They have not talked about the fact that she may, may like guys with big heads. He's got a huge cranium. She may like that. Let's see. Never thought of it. But anyway, the the thing I like about the story is there are many different ways that this could go. They have planted many seeds in many directions. And uh, you think you know where it's going. But because of all of the little teases that they've done, this is one of those things where she may not end up with Dom, but it's probably going to make sense who she does end up with because of all of the little things that they've teased. And one thing for sure, Rhea Ripley is going to be back with a vengeance on everybody at some point. Oh, yes, she will. Back in a moment, Observer Live. Vinny is the YWF World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion. You want the thumb wrestling because of your, your judo practicing at a very strong grip strength you and have. By your my, tendon strength. My massive musculature. Sure, huh? sure. And then Vinny won uh, musical chairs. Yes. Because of his large ass. Dominant size and girth. I've never seen such a height disparity in living people. Final match was Oreo stacking. I won't lie, I got cocky. It was very close. Yes, I got cocky and I lost. You did get to chop John. He was a good sport. He took seven chops. He took seven chops, which was... They mostly sucked. I don't think that's true at all. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.